What if I told you that Tesla just cracked a code to mass-producing humanoid robots at a price point that could change everything? We're talking about bringing a fully functional robot worker down to under $20,000. That's less than what most people spend on a car. And the secret weapon behind this breakthrough? A massive 50,000 ton machine that's literally reshaping the future of robotics as we know it. Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into something absolutely mind-blowing how Tesla's Optimus Gen 3 robot has been completely redesigned from the ground up, not to look prettier, but to be manufactured at scale using technology that most people have never even heard of. Before we jump in, I'd really appreciate it if you could help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Every subscription means the world to us and keeps us motivated to bring you the latest Tesla news, robot updates, and tech breakthroughs. So if you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button right now. Now, let me ask you this. Do you think it's possible to build a robot that works for 16 hours straight, never takes a sick day, never asks for a raise, and costs less than a luxury car? Well, Tesla thinks they've figured out exactly how to make that happen, and it all comes down to one incredible machine. The Optimus Gen 3 isn't just another iteration of Tesla's humanoid robot, it's a complete reimagining of what a robot can be when you design it specifically for mass production. We're talking about a 22 pound weight reduction, a completely simplified structure, and way fewer components than previous versions. But here's the really crazy part. The entire robot is now optimized to work with Tesla's 50,000 ton Giga Press. This absolutely massive machine that's currently operating in Texas and producing major body parts like the chest, back, and legs faster, more precisely, and more cost-effectively than anyone thought possible. Think about this for a second. How did a machine originally designed for making car parts become the key to mass-producing humanoid robots? It's actually a fascinating story of engineering innovation meeting manufacturing reality. Tesla didn't redesign Optimus Gen 3 because they wanted it to look cooler or have shinier parts. They redesigned it because they had one clear goal in mind. Make it possible to mass produce these robots using ultra-large casting technology. And when I say ultra-large, I mean this Gigapress is literally one of the most powerful alloy die casting machines anywhere in the world. Tesla developed this beast with a singular purpose. Take humanoid robots out of research labs and bring them into large and bring them into large-scale industrial production at the lowest possible cost. Here's what's really interesting. The earlier versions of Optimus, like Generation 1 and Generation 2, were still pretty bulky, structurally complex, and mostly had to be assembled by hand. That's fine for prototypes and small-scale testing, but it's absolutely terrible if you want to build thousands of these things every month. Generation 3 represents a massive leap forward. We're not just talking about small improvements here and there. The weight has been reduced by 22 pounds, which might not sound like much, but in robotics, every pound matters for battery life and movement efficiency. The modularity has been improved, meaning parts can be swapped out more easily. The joints have been made more flexible for smoother, more natural movement. But most importantly, components like the chest, back, and lead frames have been completely redesigned from scratch to support one-piece casting. Can you imagine what it means to cast an entire robot's torso as one solid piece instead of assembling it from dozens of smaller parts? With a 50,000 ton Giga Press, this isn't just a technological upgrade, it's a fundamental redesign of how robots are built from the ground up. Tesla has fully embraced what engineers call design for manufacturing. Every single component has bind shaped and optimized to allow for single shot casting. No multi-part assemblies, no complex welding processes, no manual screwing together of parts. The Gen 3 Optimus frame now looks like a monolithic skeleton hollowing side to house motors, batteries, and the central computer, yet still lightweight, incredibly strong, and precise enough for long-term operation. Do you realize how precise this casting process is? The Gigapress enables casting of metal parts with ultra-low tolerances, we're talking less than 0.1 millimeters. That ensures near-perfect alignment between components, something that traditional assembly methods really struggle to achieve when you're trying to build at high volume. The arrival of this 50,000-ton Giga Press basically forced Tesla's Optimus design team to throw out their old playbook. They had to abandon the traditional architecture that used hundreds of discrete parts. Instead, 
The entire design had to conform to casting principles, simplify cross-sections, stable alloy flow, no dead corners that would cause problems during casting, easy mould release, and the integration of multiple functions into a single cast piece. Let me give you a perfect example of how revolutionary this is. The chest of Optimus Gen 3, which houses the battery, central computer, and major sensors, used to be this complex assembly of shells, brackets, and frames that had to be carefully put together. Now, it's a solid, seamless alloy block cast by the GigaPress in one shot. This single piece serves as protection, structural support, and a mounting base for all the core systems. They've cut the number of components by at least 30% and reduced assembly time by more than 50% compared to Gen 2. But wait, there's more. Thanks to the 50,000 ton GigaPress, Optimus isn't just lighter, it's also stronger. That 22 pound weight reduction means lower energy consumption, which extends operating time to six to eight hours per charge. At the same time, the increased structural rigidity from cast components allows the robot to move more stably and safely while performing complex tasks like lifting objects, climbing stairs, or bending down to pick things up. Here's where it gets really futuristic. These one-piece cast parts are perfectly suited for robotic assembly. That means robotic arms in the factory can install them autonomously without any human labor. This is actually the first step toward Elon Musk's larger vision of building a factory where robots build other robots without requiring the thousands of human workers that traditional assembly lines need. Now, if you're finding this as fascinating as I am, fascinating as I am, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos about Tesla's robotics revolution. We're going to be covering a lot more of these breakthrough technologies, and trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next. The significance of this 50,000 ton giga press goes way beyond just reducing weight and parts count. It's actually the key enabler that allows Tesla to bring the cost of each robot below $20,000. Think about that number for a second, $20,000. That's absolutely revolutionary compared to today's humanoid robots. Boston Dynamics Atlas is estimated to cost over $150,000. Agility Robotics Digit is over $70,000. With the ability to cast hundreds of large parts per day, the GigaPress allows Tesla to drive period of costs down to a minimum. If a robot's body can be built from just two to three cast blocks instead of hundreds of smaller pieces, then labor costs, error rates, and inspection time all drop exponentially. And here's something most people don't think about designing for the Gita Press, also makes maintenance incredibly simple. If part of Optimus's leg frame gets damaged, Tesla can simply replace the entire cast piece within minutes, rather than having to disassemble every joint and metal bar. This simplicity in design translates directly to simplicity in repair, which is absolutely critical for deploying robots at scale, whether that's in factories or eventually in homes. Are you starting to see how all these pieces fit together? It's not just about making a cool robot, it's about making a robot that can actually be manufactured and maintained at massive scale. The new design of Optimus Gen 3 isn't just a technical improvement, it's a core strategy for cost reduction. With the goal of bringing the robot's price below $20,000, Tesla had to do something that no tech company has ever done before, transform a complex humanoid robot into a low-cost industrial product, just like they once did with electric vehicles. And sitting at the center of that cost-cutting strategy is the 50,000-ton GigaPress. This massive alloy casting machine that doesn't just redefine how robots are made, but also drives production costs down to levels that nobody thought were possible. Let me paint you a picture of how robots used to be built. Previously, Optimus had a structure made up of hundreds of small mechanical components, screws, subframes, connectors, brackets, sensor housings, many made of steel, or high-end materials that are really cough difficult to manufacture. Each part required multiple stages, cutting, welding, polishing, assembly, testing, and adjustment. All of which increased costs, lengthened production time, and made it incredibly difficult to ensure consistency across robots. But with Gen 3, Tesla shifted toward a completely different design philosophy focused on material minimization, part reduction, and functional integration all to fully leverage the GigaPress's 50 day and da, thousand ton alloy casting capability. Major sections of the robot, like the chest or legs, are cast as a single solid block. All the costs associated with internal assembly disappear instantly. 
No need for mechanical engineers to screw together every joint. No need for alignment checks on every connection. No need to fabricate and manage hundreds of individual parts. This is how Tesla slashes thousands of dollars off each robot simply by changing the way the frame is built. Do you think traditional manufacturing companies are going to be able to compete with this approach? I honestly don't see how they can. Moreover, labor cost, one of the most expensive factors in robot manufacturing, has been drastically reduced through automation. In traditional robot assembly lines, engineers are responsible for delicate tasks like installing arms, mounting motors, wiring electronics, calibrating sensors, and more. But Optimus Gen 3 is designed to be assembled by robots. Robotic arms can automatically pick, place, fasten, and inspect components. No human hands required. As Elon Musk once said, Optimus will be assembled by other Optimus robots in the factory. That's how we scale. The Gigapress sits at the beginning of that chain, casting parts that are then moved and assembled entirely by machines. This closed-loop production model cuts operating costs by amounts that most people can't even comprehend. Cost savings aren't limited to just production either. The new design also reduces logistics and inventory costs. With fewer parts, Tesla needs to ship and store fewer components, lowering risks of delays and damage while simplifying the entire supply chain. While rival robots may require sourcing hundreds of components from dozens of suppliers across multiple countries, Optimus needs only a few cast blocks and core electronic modules, all of which can be produced in-house at a single digger factory. This provides long-term cost advantages that insulate Tesla from inflation, raw material price swings, and third-party delays. Can you imagine having that kind of control over your entire supply chain? Optimus Gen 3 is also engineered for ultra-low maintenance costs. Thanks to its modular cast-molded body, Tesla can replace entire damaged sections within minutes rather than disassembling every tiny component. The low cost of replacement, fast repair time, and reduced error rate make the monthly operating cost of Optimus weather in a factory or a household significantly lower than any other humanoid robot. It's this combination of low upfront price and minimal maintenance that makes widespread deployment of humanoid robots truly feasible for the first time in history. And then there's the economies of scale factor. And then there's the economies of scale factor. Tesla can sell robots near production cost because they expect to manufacture hundreds of thousands per year. This mirrors the Model 3 strategy as volume increases. Average unit costs drop dramatically. The Giga Press helps Tesla achieve this with unmatched speed and precision. If each cast takes just a few minutes, then a single production line can produce thousands of blocks per day enough to supply tens of thousands of robots per month. Now, here's where things get really interesting. When Elon Musk announced the goal of producing 10,000 Optimus bots per month, that's equivalent to 120,000 robots per year, the tech world immediately realized that Tesla wasn't merely can building a product. They were laying the foundation for an entirely new economy, one powered by non-human labor. And the key to realizing that ambition doesn't lie solely in AI software but in large-scale physical manufacturing, where the 50,000-ton Gigapress and Optimus's simplified casting-based design form this incredible strategic partnership. If in the early years Tesla struggled with bottlenecks in assembling the Model 3, then with Optimus, the company is taking the complete opposite approach, building massive production capacity first and then popularizing the robot. With the Gigapress, Tesla can cast the main structural blocks of Optimus in just minutes, meaning a single production line can create hundreds of robot parts per day. Combined with a fully automated assembly system that's already been deployed in Tesla's factories for years, the Optimus production process could reach near-complete automation. But here's what's even more important. This process can be replicated globally, just like how Tesla expanded Giga Shanghai, Giga Berlin, and now Giga Mexico, a production line built in Texas, can be copied to China, India, or Europe. Why? Because the entire supply chain casting machines, robotic arms, and robot design are already standardized. Do you realize what this means for the global economy? When a company can produce 10,000 humanoid robots per month, that's over 300 per day, it's no longer just technological research and development. It becomes a human labor replacement industry. With a target cost below $20,000 per unit, Tesla could deploy Optimus across its factories, logistics chains, and even into homes or service companies. Think about it. A robotic worker can operate 16 hours a day, 7 days a week, 
without breaks, wages, or strikes. And when Optimus is produced in the hundreds of thousands each year, robot adoption will move from experimental to dominant. Unlike other robotics companies that produce only a few hundred units per year for demonstration or specialized enterprise use, Tesla approaches the market exactly like they did with the Model 3 build robots the way cars are built, at the highest volume possible. And more importantly, at sufficient scale, Tesla not only reduces cost, but can also use robots to build other robots. Optimus Gen 3 modular design and simplified assembly allow its limbs, joints, circuits and cast frames to be installed by other robotic arms. When Elon Musk said, Optimus will be built by other Optimus robots, that wasn't hyperbole. It's a clear strategy, a closed loop production system where robots build the next generation of robots, enabling what's essentially infinite replication. When manufacturing no longer depends on human labor, scaling becomes unlimited. Can you imagine the implications of that? The strategic implications of this are absolutely profound. First, it allows Tesla to expand its robotic workforce into multiple industries manufacturing, warehousing, healthcare, hospitality, and more at a speed that no other company can match. Second, it shifts the entire global labor structure. Repetitive, dangerous, or tedious tasks can be entirely handed over to Optimus, while humans focus on creativity, management, and social interaction. Third, Tesla will gain an unmatched competitive edge, not just as an auto maker, but as the world's largest producer of robotic labor. With such powerful manufacturing infrastructure, Tesla doesn't need to wait for the world to adopt robots. They're going to bring robots to the world. Every Gigapress Optimus production line becomes a replication machine that can be deployed in any country. And since robots don't require wages or holidays, regional labor costs become completely irrelevant. An Optimus built in the US or India is exactly the same, just like a silicon chip independent of borders. This is going to trigger a global restructuring of labor and economics. Companies may start favoring using robots over relocating factories to low-wage regions. Mass production also unlocks mass customization. When Tesla can produce 100,000 Optimus units per year, they can offer multiple variants, industrial Optimus for carrying loads and assembly, commercial Optimus for reception and service, household Optimus for cleaning and cooking, or even a minimalist version with limited functions for $10,000. So let me ask you this. Do you think we're ready for a world where robots are as common as smartphones? Are you excited about the possibility of having a personal robot assistant? Or does it make you a little nervous? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Looking at everything we've covered today, it's clear that Tesla's approach to the Optimus Gen 3 represents way more than just another step forward in robotics. This is a fundamental shift in how we think about manufacturing, labor, and the role of automation in our daily lives. The 50,000 ton Gigapress isn't just a machine, it's the key that unlocks mass production of humanoid robots at a price point that could make them accessible to businesses and eventually households around the pre bulldy world. The combination of revolutionary design, advanced manufacturing, and Tesla's proven ability to scale production creates a perfect storm for what could be the most significant technological shift of our Cyman lifetime. We're not just talking about building better robots, we're talking about building a new economic reality where the line between human and robotic labor gets completely redrawn. If you found this deep dive as fascinating as I did, make sure you subscribe to help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. Your support means everything to us and helps us continue bringing you the latest breakthroughs in Tesla technology, robotics, and innovation. Hit that like button if this video opened your eyes to something new, and don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss our latest content. What do you think about Tesla's strategy? Are they going to revolutionize robotics the same way they revolutionized electric vehicles? Drop your thoughts in the comments, I read every single one, and love hearing your perspectives on these game-changing technologies. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be diving even deeper into the future of robotics and automation. Until then, stay curious, stay informed, and keep watching the future unfold.